Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick summary of where I'm at and how I got here and where I'm going with the silver stack. So, as you guys know, I finished my first 100 ounce goal, which actually this started this goal started back in 2011 ish, and basically what it is is over about a three year period, I sold the silver and gold that I'd had that I'd bought pre 9-11 we're talking seven dollar american eagles and 29 dollar 28 dollar 10th ounce gold it was the days and as soon as i bought it the prices started going up and i watched gold triple and i sold my first half ounce then i watched it quadruple and i sold my 10th ounces then i watched silver climb and it basically when it was all said and done i had I'd made approximately $1,500 profit on what little bit I had. So I told myself back then that, well, someday when the price gets back down to reasonable, maybe like $15 an hour or $15 an ounce, maybe I'll pick up 100 ounces and that'll be off pure profit. And if the price goes to crap and it drops to zero, I'm not out anything. And if it doesn't, it's all, it's all gravy at that point. And, well, just to start from the very beginning of it, I was on YouTube, I looked a couple times, and I was looked, watched a couple videos, and this was like three months, four months ago, probably by now, and Silver Dragons popped up a post about American Coin Mart having the Apollo 11 for $12.95 with a $10 coupon code. To my door so I don't know how many people got them but a lot of people in the community grabbed that this was my first buy since 2000 well probably since pre 9-11 this was the first one and I'd sold everything at profit so when I sold back then I sold my 90% I sold it uh, 35 times face value and that's where I'm trying to see someday if I can do that again. So anyway, I got this. I put that aside. That's what started it. The next day I called the local coin shop and I said, how much is the 90%? I knew I wanted it. I liked it before. He said 12 and a half times face. I went down there. I made a purchase. And actually this amount was a couple purchases over a couple of days. There's my total. And as you can see, as I picked it up more, before I get too far, when I started this 12 and a half, I thought it'd be nice if I could get through this $100 bet. My 100 ounces I wanted to be, to consist of $100 face value of 90% change within this, $100, within this 100 ounce goal. So I started out at 12.50 and I thought if I can get through this and get the average down to 11.50, I'm going to save $100 on a $100 bag. So that's what I wanted to do. And you can see I started buying it, putting it away. You can see my prices slowly coming down. And then the price increase. I got, I got one more good price, which got me to 50 ounces just of the Constitutional, which that was nice. But then the prices started going up. And I had to kind of finagle some deals to kind of keep this from going too nuts. And I got to the 90, 90, 20. And if I bought 10 more dollars when the price was this, I would have came in at like 11.53 or something, but I wanted that amount. And then it hit me. It's like, well, instead of just getting 10 more dollars, I just ordered 20 more dollars, which would blow me right past 100. And then I deducted the $100 that I wanted to face value from what I had. I deducted the $1,150 from what I had into it, which gave me my $100 bag for exactly what I wanted to be into it, not none of these rounded up numbers. So that was nice. And then I took the extra $10 I had, averaged it out, which was which is able which is able to give me this. $10.20 to roll into my next bag. 
We talked about the $12.95 deal. I bought the one ounce, $12.95, average $12.95, which was about $2 under spot. Then I got the 10, 10 ounces for spot deal, which was even. Now my average is $15.13 an ounce. I was able to pick up 10 ounces from a friend of mine for a dollar under spot. This number is really nothing more than a number in my head. It doesn't affect my prices at all. But the dollar under spot for 10 ounces plus the $2 under spot, now I'm 12 under. But that doesn't matter, like I said. But my average at that point, I'm at fifteen thirty-one. Another price increase, I bought my 10 ounce bar. Now my average is sixteen oh five. Now this is all based kind of where I wanted it to be anyway, but Silver Heist did a video on 70% constitutional, 20% in his case, he did Canadian maple leaves, and then 10%. I'll have to leave a link for his video so you guys can watch that. But basically I was doing the same thing except I was going on the cheap. As far as U.S. minted silver, 70% of it is in the form of constitutional. And you're not going to get any easier to get rid of than that if you need to. So basically when it was all said and done, my average is 16.05. I deducted one ounce because now I'm at 31. I only need to be 30 and 30%. So I pulled that one ounce at 16.05 deducted from the total, came out, bing, bang, boom, here's my total, 16047, which left me a grand total of, in my 90%, I'm at 1609 an ounce, and at my 999, I'm at 1605 an ounce. My total cost is 1631. I originally was shooting for that 15 we talked about earlier, but here's 100 of it right here. So that puts me at 16 so I'm technically only $31.42 over my budget. First 100 ounces is done.